Hello everyone, my name is Joey here for DFB, and today we're talking about one of our go-to treats when you want to escape the heat, cool off a little bit, maybe even celebrate the fact that you're at the most magical place on Earth. That's right, today we're talking about ultimate Disney Sundays that you have to try. So first up, we're gonna start at Beaches and Cream Soda Shop in the Beach Club Resort. This one is a hidden gem, and it's one of our favorite spots you could visit without having to have a park ticket. It's a nostalgic ice cream shop with an old school feel that's located on the boardwalk. And once you're here, you're gonna wanna get the No Way Jose. It's $9.50 and it's a massive sundae with scoops of vanilla and chocolate ice cream topped off with huge layers of warm peanut butter and hot fudge and then covered with peanut butter and chocolate morsels. Then the whole thing gets topped off with whipped cream and a cherry. The standouts for this one, of course, are not only the warmed peanut butter and hot fudge, but the insane amount of them that you get. Next up, we want to talk about the Kitchen Sink Sunday, and it's another one that's available at Beaches and Cream Soda Shop. Now this one is massive, it's $32. It serves four people, and the original has been a Disney staple for years, making this one a DFB on the list item. But nowadays it comes in three different versions. It comes in the original, Neapolitan, and Chocolate Lovers versions. And it has a name that speaks for itself, and is even served in a massive bowl designed to look like an actual kitchen sink. The original is a massive amount of ice cream with a variety of flavors like vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, coffee, and mint chocolate chip. And then thrown on top is every topping available at Beaches and Cream, including brownies, pound cake, peanut butter, hot fudge, Oreos, candy bars, pineapple, bananas, nuts, sprinkles, and maraschino cherries. The Neapolitan version has the same toppings as the original, but the ice cream flavors are kept to the three classics. It's got vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. And then the Chocolate Lovers version has ice cream flavors that are limited to chocolate, cookies and cream, and vanilla. The toppings are kept to the chocolate variety, such as brownies, Oreos, candy bars, hot fudge, chocolate chips, chocolate sprinkles, and chocolate shavings. And finally, each kitchen sink is famously topped off with an entire can of whipped cream. It's just, it's so intense. This is something that everybody needs to experience at least once, both the delicious ice cream, but also the fun and camaraderie that comes with ordering one of those. Because really, this one is an ice cream lover's dream come true. Next up, we're going to another famous ice cream spot, which is Ample Hills Creamery on the boardwalk. It originated in New York City, and Ample Hills is known for for their creative ice cream flavors that combine fresh ingredients with old-fashioned mixology, and you can feel free to request samples of any flavor of ice cream that you want to try. Now what we're getting here is the Ooey Gooey Butter Cake Sundae, which is $8.49. It's kind of a build your own option and it's highly customizable. You could start with either a brownie or the famous Ooey Gooey Butter Cake, which is what we would recommend. And your choice of ice cream, which you can feel free to request more than one, but in our case we picked one scoop of PB Wins the Cup, and one scoop of ooey gooey butter cake ice cream. Now once you've got it, you can top it off with your choice of toppings that could include sprinkles, mini M&Ms, chocolate chips, chocolate syrup, caramel syrup, whipped cream, and cherries. And I gotta say, this one is one of our favorite customizable sundaes, especially with such standout and creative ice cream flavors. Next up, we're going over to Plaza Ice Cream Parlor in the Magic Kingdom, which is located at the end of Main Street, USA, and this one is a nostalgic ice cream parlor. It's a Magic Kingdom landmark, and for us, it's a must-do for any visit. Now, at Plaza Ice Cream Parlor, we're gonna get the Donut Sunday. This one is $5.99, and you can actually start your day off with this one since it's listed on the breakfast menu. Now, this one is also available during the day. It's a warm glazed donut that's first topped off with warm cinnamon apple topping, one large scoop of vanilla ice cream, chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, hot fudge topping, whipped cream, and a cherry. And since the first time we've tried this, they've also added milk chocolate Mickey ears on the top. This one automatically comes with vanilla ice cream, but you can request any flavor that you prefer. And some of the other options can include chocolate, strawberry, cookies and cream, mint chocolate chips, and no sugar added butter pecan. The best part of this one, of course, is the donut. It's very similar to a Krispy Kreme donut, and despite not being house-made, they're still very, very fresh. And we think this is a really creative ice cream option, especially considering that it comes off of a breakfast menu in one of our favorite places. Next up, we're going to Ghirardelli, which has two locations. There's Ghirardelli Ice Cream and Chocolate Shop in Disney Springs, and one in California Adventure. And it's a very popular ice cream shop, thanks in large part to their famous name. This one's located in the marketplace with indoor and outdoor seating, and in 
combination with the chocolate, this spot has become known for their indulgent San Francisco themed ice cream treats. And we're actually gonna suggest a couple of different options here. First off is the Earthquake Sunday. This giant Sunday comes in at a whopping $39.95, and it's another shareable ice cream favorite that serves four people or more. It's served in a large plastic bowl, it comes with eight scoops of ice cream and eight toppings, including almonds, semi sweet chocolate chips caramel chips, chocolate sauce, caramel sauce, whipped cream, and cherries. And besides its obvious huge size, this is also a favorite because of the high level of quality in the ingredients. Chocolate lovers especially will appreciate this one, not only because of the famous Ghirardelli chocolate, but that both milk and dark chocolate sauces are used. Overall, this one is a memorable, over-the-top favorite with fresh ingredients. Next up is the Ocean Beach Sea Salt Sundae. This one is $11.95. It comes in an easy-to-carry, large plastic cup, and it's got scoops of vanilla ice cream with tons of caramel sauce, homemade hot fudge, sea salt, whipped cream, and even more caramel sauce on top of that, and a Ghirardelli chocolate caramel square. I'm gonna go ahead and say this one has become a go-to favorite for this location, because we love that sweet and salty combination. Next up, we've also got the Chrissy Fields Cookie Bits Sundae. This one is $12.45, and is served in a plastic boat-type bowl. It's got two scoops of vanilla ice cream, one scoop of cookies and cream, lots of homemade fudge, whipped cream, two Ghirardelli chocolate caramel squares, and most importantly, it's got these colossal chocolate chip cookie pieces. So moving on from Ghirardelli, let's take a look at the Mickey Mickey Pants Sunday. This one is available in two locations, both the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor in Magic Kingdom and at Beaches and Cream Soda Shop at the Beach Club Resort. Now, at the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor, this one is $16.99 and is actually listed on the menu as the Mickey's Kitchen Sink Sunday or the Mini Mickey Sink, and it gets its nickname from the cute souvenir Mickey Red Pants Bowl that they're served in. It comes with two scoops of ice cream of your choice, and you get a choice of hot fudge, warm peanut butter or caramel, whipped cream, and two cherries. We love the toppings and the choice to customize the ice cream flavors, but you can get more at Beaches and Cream. Now, at Beaches and Cream, it's $23 for the sundae, and it's served in the same souvenir Mickey Pants Bowl, but with scoops of vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry ice cream, pineapple topping, strawberry sauce, hot fudge, warm peanut butter, Oreo cookies, brownie, peanut butter and chocolate morsels, sprinkles, whipped cream, and cherries. Now this is a splurge item, but considering the amount of toppings that you get in the souvenir cute bowl, we absolutely love this one. Now let's take a look at Kona Cafe in Disney's Polynesian Resort in Disney World. This is another under the radar spot that has become one of our favorites. And at Kona Cafe, you're gonna get the Kona Cone. This one is $7. It's been on the menu for a while and has changed a bit over the years. So it now comes in a waffle bowl instead of a cone with vanilla ice cream, Mickey sprinkles, a mini chocolate Mickey face, M&Ms, and most importantly, the waffle bowl is surrounded by cotton candy. And honestly, we like the updated version a lot because it's an old fan favorite, but now it's easier to eat in the bowl. Next up at End Zone Food Court at All Star Sports Resort, which is kind of a low key food court with, with sports themed decor. And here we're gonna get the Mickey Waffle Sundae, which is $6.69 and is served in a cup with one scoop of your choice of gelato, whipped cream, sprinkles, a cherry, and a mini Mickey waffle. The Mickey waffle is made to order, so it's warm and fresh when served. And this one is a must have, especially considering that it combines two of our favorite items into one dessert. It's never not time for Sundays or Mickey waffles. Next up at Sasagula in Port Orleans French Quarter, we're gonna order the beignet sundae. This one is $6.79 and is a customizable item. It's got your choice of gelato, your choice of sauce between caramel, raspberry, or chicory coffee ganache. It's got whipped cream and three warm beignets. Now those beignets are the standout and those are a DFB on the list item, especially since they were made to order even for the sundae. And you can also have some fun with the flavor combinations. Our last combo was Nutella gelato and raspberry berry sauce and it was amazing. Now let's go to Sprinkles in Disney Springs for the Sprinkles Cupcake Sunday. This one is a very popular cupcake shop with an open airy feel and neat outside seating. Now this one is $7.95 and there are a few Sunday options but we love the classic Sprinkles Sunday that comes with one scoop of ice cream and one cupcake. They cut the cupcake in half so the ice cream is layered in between. And this is another Sunday where you can have some fun with the flavors by customizing the various cupcake flavors including 
included in the seasonal ones as well as their ice cream flavors. Moving on, we're gonna take a look at Whispering Canyon in the Wilderness Lodge Resort for their 10 gallon sundae. This one is another DFB favorite and it costs $27. It's served in a fun plastic 10 gallon cowboy hat and it's got scoops of vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and mint chocolate ice cream. And it's topped with pineapple, strawberry, and caramel sauces. It's got full slices of apple pie, vanilla cupcake, chocolate cupcake, a layer of whipped cream, chocolate brownies, two giant Mickey Mouse sugar cookies with chocolate dipped ears. It's got banana, Oreos, a toasted marshmallow skewer, chocolate covered bacon, and cherries. If it sounds a little over the top, that's because it is. This one is another giant and super shareable sundae, but this one stands out with some of its creative ingredients like the toasted marshmallows and the chocolate covered bacon. This one still isn't officially listed on the menu yet, so again, it's kind of a little bit of a secret menu item, but that just makes it a little more fun and a little more over the top. And now we're gonna go back to the Polynesian Resort for, you guessed it, the Ohana Bread Pudding. This is one of our absolute favorites. It's a famous dessert that's offered at Ohana, as well as being available in a single serve option with no reservation required at Tambu Lounge and this one is $4.99 it's another DFB on the list item and it's a piece of warm pineapple bread pudding with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and served on the side is a warm banana caramel sauce with actual banana slices this is a favorite for quite a few DFB team members and all around it's pretty simple but combined with the ingredients these are heavenly they're an absolute must-have if you're anywhere near the Polynesian Resort you have to get one and finally for the last item on our list we're going to parody so 37. This is a fun, lively spot with live music at certain times of the day. And here we're gonna get the chocolate stack. This one is $10. It's a chocolate cake with ganache, strawberries, and vanilla ice cream. And it's a must have for chocolate lovers because the cake is very brownie-like, but also super fudgy and moist. In our opinion, this is totally good enough to warrant a visit, even if it's just to enjoy the dessert. But that's just about it for this one. These have been a few of our absolute favorite Sundays around Disney. Now make sure to leave a comment down below We'd love to hear what you think about these Sundays, as well as if you have any other favorites that weren't listed, make sure to leave those in the comments. We love reading about your opinions and especially love trying new items, so make sure to let us know what some of your favorites are. Now, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave us a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more information about all things Disney dining. Once again, for DFB, my name's Joey, and we'll see you in the next video.